I recently asked my five-year-old grandson if older people are always taller than people who are younger than them. His answer was yes. In his mind, a 65-year-old is always taller than a 20-year-old. Well, I explained to him that people stop growing by age 20 or so, and they are, come in different sizes. <laughs> well, so it is spiritually, unfortunately, that we often stop growing or, or reduce the amount of growth that happens in our life spiritually, and this is not a good thing. Welcome to Truth Talk with Ed Skipper, published three times a week. Listen to the word of Peter in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation now that you've tasted that the Lord is good. You know, I have read that if a baby were to continue the rate of growth that it has in the first year of his or her life, by adulthood, that, that person would be the size of an Empire State Building, the Empire State Building. That's how much growth happens early on in a person's life. And it's sad, and something's desperately wrong spiritually when we don't continue to grow. Growth is hard, and if you're like me, you like predictability and stability, and the way I grow is by being challenged by the Word of God and putting it into practice over and over again. And just as physically it's possible to grow out instead of grow up, as we take in a lot of food and we don't match that with putting the food to use, so it is spiritually, it's possible for us to, yes, intake the Word of God, but not internalize it, apply it, put it into practice in our life. Christian maturity comes from doing that over and over again. Listen again to Peter's words, 1 Peter 2, 2 and 3. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. Is there anything you like to eat that once you take some, you just can't stop yourself from eating more and more. For me, it's chocolate chips. I just have a whole lot of trouble stopping once I start eating chocolate chips. So I have told my wife, honey, hide the chocolate chips. Put them somewhere where I don't know where they are because I have trouble staying out of them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He's unique. He is unlike any other. And doing that will encourage us to grow spiritually by feeding on the Word of God and applying it in our lives. David says in Psalm 34, verse 8, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Hey, I want to encourage you to do this. I want to think, I want you to think about how the Lord's been good in your life and either write down a list of things. This is how I have experienced the goodness of the Lord. Or just take it to the Lord in prayer and give him thanks and say, Lord, I've experienced your goodness in all these different ways. And I think it will encourage you to continue to feed on the word, put it into practice and grow spiritually. Hey, if you're watching on Facebook, share, comment, like. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure that you comment or subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications. If you're listening as a podcast, give Truth Talk a rating. And until next time, may you taste and see that the Lord is good and grow up through feeding on the word and applying it in your life.